What if the child is an Angie's? Are you kidding me? What well, if it's not Angie's? Whose is it exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I have a weird feeling. You would say something like that based on a weird feeling? Okay, then it's more than a weird feeling. It's it's a puzzle, you know? It's it's a puzzle where the pieces aren't fitting. No, I've never been very fond of puzzles. Okay, well, don't jump all over me because I, I, I'm i telling you this. I wouldn't you. tell you this. Lower, okay. lower, lower your voice. Ever since they brought Dr. Hubbard in, ever since I examined her, I've been trying to figure this thing out, and I get it. It sounds absolutely crazy. Why don't you give me an explanation? Because I'm telling you, something isn't right. Hubbard. She's sleeping. Yeah, and she's beautiful, just like her mama. What are you doing here? Does it look like I'm doing a hanging all over your woman? Actually, I'm just filling in Angela on a, a case she hired me for. And she decided it was time to bring you in, too. Bring me in, too, on what? Uh, well, apparently somebody around here has been helping themselves with medication. Listen, Jake decided to keep it in-house, and... You know, he thought that he would ask Tad to look in on it. See, initially it was just, you know, antibiotics, things like that, and now the serious stuff is starting to disappear, too. Can you give me a minute along with Tad, please? Wait, wait, you really think I'm going anywhere? Hey, Ryan. It's Griffin Castillo. Listen, I need you to check on Kendall for me. What the hell? Hey! What are you doing here? Hey. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's ridiculous. Come on. Come on, don't do this! I knew something was wrong with this woman. She didn't come here because her car was broken down. She came here because of the casinos. Are, are you sure? Diana Holden is probably a common name. There's a picture right here. Look, she's the vice president of public affairs of the group that Zach worked with. I mean, she she picked up Zach's picture and she never she never said a word. I let this go. I let it go. The fact that that Zach might have been murdered, that maybe he, he it wasn't an accident. I let it go. Oh. And maybe I was wrong. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, okay? No, no. I mean, what does this woman want from me? I mean, does she does she want to kill me too because I'm I'm selling the casinos? I don't I don't know. I have to go to the no, no, police. No, 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 no. Well, hang on, go hang to the on. Police. You already went to the police. Remember that didn't work out so well. Someone might have murdered my husband. They need to know about this. Uh, what are you doing here? Griffin sent me. Damn it. How the hell did you get here? Come on. Come on. Angie in. Now, something didn't seem a little off. Baby's fine. Healthy. <sighs> Mommy's fine. What's off about that? 
Okay, th there were no questions. There's no voice inside of your no, head. If you do this with every single case that comes through this hospital, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Okay, well, it's not just every single case, all right? We're talking about a placental abruption, and, and you know what? It's not a mild I am one aware either. of Are you I'm... aware of the circumstances, under the best circumstances, how many babies survive this? Now, in this particular case, what happens? They're out in the middle of nowhere. There's no doctor. The mother passes out. There are no medical supplies. Yes, he was there. What are the odds, Jake? I'm talking about odds. I don't want to talk about <sighs> odds. Forget about odds. They were fine. Call it a miracle if you want to. A miracle? Yeah, a miracle. I believe in miracles. Mm. I know that we're all about science and logic and everything, but miracles happen every day in medicine. You know it, I know it, you've seen it. We saw it together in the field, right? Things that shouldn't happen, couldn't happen, just do. Every day. Yes, but I'm talking about this... I don't want to talk about it. Drop it. Drop this whole thing. Okay? I'm Officer Monroe. Are you here to report a crime, Miss... I... Maya. Maya Mercado. You look upset. Maybe I can help if you tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, I have to go out on this call, but if this is an emergency, I can stay. No, it's okay. Go. So how long has this been going on? A while. I don't know what to tell you. The board said they wanted to keep things on the down low. It's not their call. Jesse, Jake was trying to protect the hospital. Hey! We've taken a lot of PR hits lately. And we seriously didn't think there was any danger. I mean, <laughs> now that this person has decided to up their game to narcotics, we all wanted to bring you in? Well, you should have brought me in in the beginning. I understand. I'm sorry. Keeping secrets is never a good idea. You have said us way back on a very serious crime. I need everything you got, Tad. Names, leads, today. You'll have it. Jesse, you know what? I think it's a good thing that you haven't had to deal with this. You've got so much on your plate right now. A new baby, a wife who can't always... Hey, please don't talk like that, all right? I'm doing just fine. I'm taking care of my family. I'll say even find time to deliver your own kids. Uh, normally, I would slug Griffin for being so overprotective, but it turns out you may have a legitimate reason for him sending you here. What, what is going on? This, this woman came over here pretending to have car trouble. Turns out she works with Saks Casino Partners. Her name is Diana Holden. And what did she want? I don't know. I don't know, but when she came in here, she was looking around all over the place. She was asking me all sorts of questions. Where is she now? She's gone, and Ricky showed up, and as soon as she saw him, she got spooked, and then she left. Good timing, I guess. No, no, this, this was not a coincidence. She, she came here because of Zach. So where are the boys? They're with Sandra. She's going to meet us at the airport. I mean, we're leaving for St. Bart's in a few hours. Okay, well, we got to figure this out. I think we got to figure it out fast, and Reverend, I'm going to need your help. Okay, okay, just chill. Just relax. All right, call the, call the cops. Cops. Take care of this. Easy, easy. I was just about to call you guys. Well, someone beat you to it. Neighbors called, said they heard loud, violent noises coming from this room and said it sounded like a fight. Hey, listen, I just got here two minutes ago. I found the place exactly like this. Okay, she's, she's dead. She's dead. Call this into the station. We have a possible homicide. Officer. Stop right there. Do you know this woman? No. Then what is she doing in your room? I have no idea. Was she like this when you found her? Yes. Listen, I tried to revive then her. Then why were you in her purse? I was looking for a stick of gum. What do you think? I was trying to find out who she was. You know who she is. I just told you. I don't Answer know. Answer the question. No, I've never seen her. OK, that's, that's not true, all right? I've, I know her. I, I don't know her. I, I've seen her before. When? A month ago, OK? She, she's a screenwriter, all right? She, she, she tracked me down at the hospital right after Kendall's surgery. She wanted details about what was going on. She, she, she wanted to write a movie or something, OK? Do you remember her name? No, she never said that. Have you seen her since? No. 
Griffin, are you sure? Yes. Because you said you didn't know who she was, and now you're telling me you do. And you think I'm lying? We're going to go down to the station and figure this all out. Reverend, you saw this woman. Maybe you could help us figure out what she was up to. Actually, the, the woman who was here, I think I've seen her before. Well, when? Where? I, I don't know. I meet a lot of people. Maybe she was in the congregation one day. Okay, this could be really, really important, so if you could try to figure it out, it would be great. Yeah, I mean, she, she did look like she saw you before. She knew you. Hey, did, did Griffin know that she was involved in the casino? Is that why he sent me here? No, I don't think so. Well, he was very upset about something. We've got to find out what it was. You mind if I get that? But I'm keeping it on speaker. Okay. Hey, Ryan, is Kendall okay? Yeah, she is. I, I'm here right now. Okay, good. Listen, I can't talk right now. I'm going to the police station. What? Why? I think it has something to do with the corpse they found in my bed. I gotta go. The cops just picked up Griffin. They found a dead body in his hotel room. Oh, my God. He, he's what? on the way to the police station right now. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we, we need to get over there right now. I'll drive. No, no, it's okay, Reverend. I'll, I'll take her. Thank you. No, yeah, Ricky, thank you so much. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. Now, why couldn't she do this at night? Because she's got your looks and her father's timing. <laughs> she just wants to know who's boss. You know, I keep telling you, you need to let me help with the night Venus. I like it. And I can tell that you need your rest. Baby, you're the one that needs the rest, OK? Excuse me. Albert. Does he seem OK to you? What do you mean? I don't know. It's just so... He seems distracted, worried all the time. I, I, I hope it's just exhaustion. Wow. Look at the face. Whatever that was is bad news. Someone was just murdered at the Yacht Club. What happened? All I know is there was a woman's body found in Griffin Castillo's bed. What? That can't be right. Well, they're taking him into questioning now. Uh, I gotta go. Are you gonna be okay? Oh. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, no, I, I, I don't know what happened, all right? I can't even begin to guess, but Please, the baby... just stop. stop I know this. that the, the Hubbards are your friends. I know that they're your close friends. Yes. They're some of the best people I know at... I get you're trying to protect them. Let me tell you a little story about Angie, okay? She found out that she was losing her sight. Um, she didn't tell anybody, not a soul. And she found this uh, experimental medicine that was supposedly going to stop the disease right in its tracks. So she started taking the medicine. Then she found out she's pregnant, right? Now, she's thinking, this medicine's probably going to hurt the baby. She's not willing to do that, so she had to choose. The baby or her sight? Her sight, her ability to practice medicine, life as she knew it. But the baby meant so much to her, she was willing to give all that up. And Jesse, can you imagine what that felt like for Jesse, just sitting back and watching this happen to your wife? The fear, the fear of your wife going through that and not being able to do anything, but he did. He had her back because the child meant just as much to him as it did to her. I didn't know. Right. Well, they're good people. They're great people. They've spent their life helping other people. That's what I they know, do. And I'm not arguing that. But I'm... you just want to be able to solve your puzzle. 